Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode and we're going to do a bit more work on this gorgeous thing right here. Um, I went and I grinded out a few more obsidian but they're way over there and that's not what I wanted to work on today. Um, today I kind of wanted to get a base design because I changed the thought process on how what this is going to be. Um, what I want to do now is clear out a bunch of this area eventually and a bunch of this and we're going to have a a demonic seal way down at bedrock that's shooting a beam and fighting with this one uh, which is going to have a good beam so we're gonna we're gonna be working on the good beam today um, and somewhere down the middle we'll probably have it meet up at like uh, at like 40 or something and uh, we'll have like a ball of energy kind of um, protruding and just just growing and growing and growing we can do a little bit I think like glowstone uh, will work um, to make it have like that pulsating feeling and so do these they kind of pulsate just a little bit and they'll give that feeling to it but we're gonna use these not for anything other than the center um, pillar which is right here this is exactly zero zero let's make sure that we get that all situated so that we don't Boom. Okay. Uh, this will be the center of the pillar. We'll take this all the way up. Um, but I also want to bring a little bit of this white as well as some of this to kind of uh, contrast here and just kind of throw and dot these around and then throw more glass in here. Let's bring this right here and bring this up like so actually you know what we can do the whole um, um, what is it called we can switch it off and on and kind of make it spiral a little bit maybe uh, but I think that that would maybe make it too uniform but let's give it a shot here I don't need any of this silk touch in hand and do something like this Two, one, two, no, come on. There we go. One, two, two, and then just kind of bring it around a little bit. No, well, no, you get to see the, see it a little bit, and then we can fill this in with some, oh no, yeah, 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 well, just keep throwing these up like that, actually, because in some places you'll always be able to see the center and let's get that into place one two and I think we'll have to work on it just a little bit more alright so let's stand back for a moment and take a quick look at this Ooh, that is way too loud. I am sorry for that. Let's see how that looks. I think I might want to leave it a bit open space and just use the white stained glass and take off the quartz. So it kind of has more of a, it looks a, it feels a bit too, a uh, bit too packed in. So I'm going to change that. But first, <laughs> what is happening here? Is it lighting glitch? Yeah, I think it's just lighting glitch. Yeah, it's just a lighting glitch for the sun, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. Breathe, breathe. Ah. There we go. Now, the goal is to get this done and not die again right there. I don't want to do that. That sucked. But if we take these out real fast, let's take a quick look at what it looks like without that. Um, it looks fine. It still feels a little bit too in. Um, how are we gonna how are we gonna change this? Let's get our silk touch ready. I think maybe if we uh, increase the spiral a little bit uh, 
actually, let's see if we do kind of like a staircase thing with the court, with the, not the quartz, with the white stained glass. And I think I can do that with this. Let's. Boom, and then we can take this back just a little bit more than what it was. All right, let's let's try to collect some of this quartz and glass and stuff so we don't waste it. I'm very weird when it comes to that because I try to make sure that I keep almost everything that drops. And we'll take this side down too, like this, and I think this is what it, what where we want to be at with it because it's going to be not too narrow, not too wide. Let's see. I feel like we need might need a different color of glass for it because you can't really see it well or if we change that into quartz maybe we change that into quartz hmm all right I just had to run back and get a bit of food and I don't have any over here do I now we got I got a, I got a smidge of food. And let's take a look at what it looks like from afar. I didn't look back and I should have probably looked at it beforehand just so you guys don't see a horrendous sight. It might even look better way at night, but it was raining and I needed foods. So, I'd run back. Let's see how it looks. I think this is going to be what it needs to look like. see yeah we might have to take a look at nighttime to really appreciate it but uh, you can kind of see it coming in it looks like a lightning bolt is wrapping itself around the center column there and I think I think I like it and then from here um, since there is there's eight oh man if there was six symbols it'd be easy but I think we're going to assign three bright colors and kind of do a similar thing where we will have it kind of protruding from right underneath each, going right down to center, like it's all flying. Not flying, but it's all... Each symbol has its own set of power. And then each one uh, contributes to it. So white light for a bunch of different stuff and then we'll have I don't know obsidian I guess I don't I don't know what we're gonna do for the bottom maybe but I do need to fill something else in this void a little bit maybe maybe a little bit of mm, kinda make it look like a like a pentagram a little bit and have an inner circle and an outer circle or maybe we could do like a star design of some sort in here Maybe. Um, I don't know. Let me go grind out a few more pieces of obsidian. I want to make sure that I have a couple stacks before returning to this. And I will catch you guys in a moment. And you'll also see me walk up on it at nighttime as well. So it's going to... I think it looks way better at nighttime. It's probably going to look way better at nighttime. So I will catch you guys back after a few moments.
All right, guys, and we're back, and uh, I got a little bit of a time lapse into the episode so that we could see this. It looks a bit better about from right here than afar because you can see that second ribbon of color kind of coming down, and it just makes the bean a bit more oomph. We also got ourselves a little bit. I was going to record earlier in the morning, uh, but I couldn't quite do it. People were up in the house, so yeah, things happen. Uh, but I did go ahead and get it done. So we have a good little power beam. We just have to start digging, digging down bedrock for the last one. Um, I'm probably going to end up seeing if I could uh, glitch the, um, the what's it called, the bedrock down a bit. Let's throw all this in here, take out some of this, and uh, see if we can flatten that out a little bit. If not, we'll do a little bit of finagling when it comes down to it. Uh, now all I got to do is get this top part, which I think I'm going to use, um, what is it called? The uh, quart, the chiseled quartz, I think, is what I want to try and use for the, um, the backdrop, but I might not do anything for the backdrop, honestly. I think it, it has enough um, oomph for itself, but I do, it, it does feel empty, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but that is where I'm going to end the episode. Um, I do have a plan for what I'm going to do next. Uh, we will probably stray away from this project and work on something else. I'm thinking, I'm thinking a waterfall. I want to try to get something to kind of step away from the uh, the lore behind the world and look for something a bit more pretty to do. What I was thinking about is a waterfall over here. I'll show you guys. I just need to run this way real fast. Um, I've collected a bit of materials and I was walking through here going back over towards the uh, the woodland village over here. And I just I noticed that over here that mountain looks really bland, so I'm going to go ahead and end up doing a waterfall, which is what we will work on next episode. So if you enjoyed yourself, please smack that subscribe button. Don't forget, uh, don't forget to like the video and comment, and we will be doing something over here. We'll bring the waterfall down, maybe since we got that little ledge there, and we'll bring it down like this, th flow it through here, and then down into the river. But that is all we got, and I will see you guys in the next. Where's the eh, in the next episode?